Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be showing you this 1974, I believe. Yeah, 1974 Avon catalog, and I thought we could kind of go through it together, and I this is my first time looking through it. I have not, um, I have not seen anything in there. And I just ordered it on Etsy. It was, let me see, from the Etsy shop. I'm looking. Bits of inspiration on Etsy. And I paid $10.85 for it. And here is the card of the person who has the Etsy shop. I just was excited because I love Avon. And I wanted to kind of, I love vintage Avon. I love vintage makeup and I thought this would be a fun thing to look through and it, I didn't even notice this it says someone's number on there Avon and your representative wish you a joyous Christmas and happy new year and I thought that was really cute so let's just get into it so we have and I love old catalogs too like I wish more companies did catalogs these days so this is for their, looks like their car cologne, or okay, it's aftershave. Look at those prices, oh my gosh, I really like this like image here. Wow, $4.99. I don't really know how much aftershave is now nowadays. Very pretty imagery. Ooh. The cologne decanter, wow. The, I feel like Avon had such unique packaging or, you know, of their perfumes, of their makeup. I feel like they just had some really cool products. Like, I feel like shaped as a car. You know, we don't see that stuff as much these days. But $3, not bad. And the little birds, that's so cute. We have Cologne Mist, the perfect last minute Christmas gift to delight every Miss, Mrs. and Miss, Mrs. and Miss. I don't know, I get that mixed up. <laughs> very, very pretty. $2.88 each. I actually have the Hawaiian White Ginger of a, of a, um, vintage Avon perfume, but it's a different type of bottle than that one, but very nice. Dutch Girl figurine. That's kind of cool. $4.99. That's really cute. The strawberry fair perfume. What's inside this delightful strawberry? The gift of real perfume. What a delicious way to give perfume. Yes, real perfume. I just feel like those would be such cool gifts to give someone. You know, this is the Christmas edition. And I think, I don't know, very unique. I would love to have received this as a gift back in the 70s. <laughs> Especially the strawberry, that's cute. Ooh. I think this was the picture of the ad on the Etsy, or you know, of it on Etsy. I did see that page. Here is a Demi Cologne. Different scents here, I'm trying to remain Steady, sorry. I'm just holding up my camera. <laughs> the Queen of Swans, let her reign happily ever after in your home. How cute. The Royal Swan Cologne. I feel like that's just such a unique bottle. And to be $2.49, I know it was in the 70s, but still. <laughs> that is so cool. I love the, like, water in the background. I wonder if it was blue like this or if that's just the way it's kind of reflected in this picture. I don't know. 
I feel like if I was shopping through this, I'd probably buy the strawberry because it's so cute in this one so far. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this page is gorgeous. I bought five, got five free, so I doubled my Christmas list. Buy any one, get any one free. Wow. We have this here. I have a, a cat one, but I don't have this one. Of the Vintage Avon perfume. That's really cute and definitely like 70s, 60s, 70s vibes. What are these love nest soaps? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. This little pin cushion, that's cute. Pineapple. And the carriage one is really cute. I do have a carriage vintage Avon, but and I think it's the 70s too, but it's not this one. Very cute. I love all of these. The more, I think I've seen that one before. More cologne mist. And the cream sachets. Those are really popular. I saw this one at an antique store. I didn't buy it, but very good prices on these. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. My dad owned a Volkswagen. We call them bug cars. So that is really cool. He had a couple vintage Avon ones, actually, just because he thought they were cool. This one's more like manly sports ones. Ooh, this is gorgeous. 18th century Pennsylvania Dutch folk art pretty cheap as well. That's cute. Then we have some that look like priceless antique lamps, but they're at prices you can afford. Very, very cute. I feel like I probably would have wanted that one right there, the 1902 one. See how unique that packaging is. Like, I feel like that was so innovative. Very pretty. We have some more perfume and cologne bottles. Imperial Garden. Purse spray. Ooh. That's super pretty packaging. I probably would have gotten that <laughs> for $2.99. With the little dove on it. That's adorable. We have some more unique bottles. Perfume roller. Whoa, that's gorgeous. We have a cool cologne. A necklace. Oh, some more jewelry. I knew they had jewelry, but I didn't really look into it much. Here's some makeup lip lights. Definitely looks 70s. <laughs> That's a cool little ad. I like that. Ooh, we have more makeup. We looks like mascara, blush stick. I probably would have wanted these things if I was looking at this catalog and I was, you know, back in the day. We have some nail polish. Very nice. Those are interesting eyeshadow colors. I would have liked that. We have sky blue, soft green. I probably would have gotten, let's see, I would have gotten, hmm, maybe I would have gotten the blush stick in, let's see, like peach or pink, and then I would have gotten the mascara in black, 
and these eyeshadows for sure. Or like even the brow products, I would have gotten brown black. Very cool. We have more jewelry. Lace lipstick and compact. Oh, I definitely would have gotten that. Probably both the lipstick and the compact. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a lace coat, like a lace detailing. I definitely love that. We have pressed powder, more like makeup. Femininity in January 1974. Femininity, femininity returns. Wow. <laughs> the advertising. I can't. A vanity decanter. Half price. $2.50. Talic. Perfume talic for after the bath. Or that's a freshener. <laughs> I like that. Before you put on a thing, put on a little luxury. We have some soaps, $1.99. They were just very unique, I feel like. And I personally enjoy it. And just thinking of an Avon lady coming to your door and offering all these things and samples. And, you know, I have to ask my grandma about it. I know she had an Avon lady that came. These are more like, I don't know, butter dishes, skin softener. There's so many things here. Vanity jar. We have some plates. Needle craft. Pillows. They had everything. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Kitten soap. <laughs> they loved kittens because I have a kitten perfume bottle from them. We have some moisturizers for the body, some hair care it looks like, yep, ooh a hair brush, they really had so much, some shampoo for each concern. What is this here? Oh, some mascara, some more. I like the little girl on that. The design. We have hairspray, or no. No, no they're deodorants. Oh my gosh, why did I think it was hairspray? Men's product, snowmo snowmobile aftershave decanter. They really appealed to a lot of people's different interests, I feel like. Electric guitar, like, you know, anything you were interested. I feel like they had something that fit you. Even men, they have so many options. I gave this to my son, the chess player. Now that was a smart move. <laughs> oh my god. Kind of cheesy, this advertising, but I like it. Dutch pipe. Surface disinfectant. Wow, they really had everything. Wardrobe freshener. Oh my gosh, I have seen these on Etsy. I've kind of wanted them. $149. These little Avon um, lip pops. They were obviously marketed towards younger kids, but they're like soda or pop. Um, lipstick. The make-believe lipstick that looks and tastes like soda pop. 
That's really cute. So we have more things for, you know, the younger crowd. Super, super cute. Look at this little whale. <laughs> Needlecraft. Another like special. And lastly, of course, we have Snoopy, <laughs> a brush and comb for $2.77. And then it says that the prices expire December 12th. And this was the person. And it says $19.74. So, very cool. I'm just glad you're here looking through this with me. I thought it would be fun to go through it. I really loved a lot of this stuff in here. I, I'm sad I didn't see anything I actually own from them, but I guess I don't own too much um, yet. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed going back in time with me, going through this Avon 70s catalog and let me know if you want me to do any types of vintage videos next but yeah have a great day bye